Europa își croiește încă de pe acum viitorul și face asta prin tinerii pe care îi pregătește să ia deciziile pentru următorii zeci de ani. În această idee se înscrie și programul inițiat de Comitetul European al Regiunilor, Young Elected Politicians. Acest proiect oferă tinerilor politicieni aleși în diverse funcții la nivel local și regional șansa de a face schimb de experiență cu colegii din alte țări și de a fi conectați la instituțiile și valorile europene. O ediție specială a emisiunii Europa 360, inițiată de TVR Timișoara și finanțată de Comitetul European al Regiunilor. Francisca Lezel a intrat foarte devreme în politică, pentru că a înțeles că schimbarea începe cu fiecare dintre noi și a dorit să fie o voce a generației ei care să fie ascultată. Uh, every time it comes um, to talk about youth empowerment, uh, I think first of young elected politicians and people, young people involved in social area, uh, for example. What is your story? How did you decide to enter this world? Uh, yeah, that was actually a long story. It began relatively um, early because I was always interested in um, being or getting involved in politics. Um, so I really had then in mind to do something because I thought that there might be some problems in the city. And, and I thought, hmm, well, I can do if I am active. So this was my idea behind that because why I got active. Which problems uh, did your uh, city, for example, uh, face? Because when we think about Germany, for example, uh, we from the eastern countries, uh, uh, we think that uh, nothing bad happened in Germany. <laughs> What problems does the municipality in, uh, in Germany, for example, face? Um, my city is close to the Dutch border and also uh, directly near other big cities, for example, Cologne and Düsseldorf, which are really big and um, have a lot of good ideas. And so in comparison to that we have or we're facing a lot of problems for example um, actually Krefeld was a rich city in the um, before the first and second world war and after that all went and um, so we are now right now suffering um, a lot of um, people that cannot find any work and um, a lot of um, young people go away from the city so um, There might be the problem of not really, um, how could I say, um, yeah, having having the chance to do something like, uh, for example, leisure things um, or attractions for young people to stay to, to work in Krefeld. So that was the main point that really uh, made me angry <laughs> when I thought about the city. Uh, which was your biggest uh, challenge when you enter uh, the politic uh, world? Uh, how, how did you manage which, with, with uh, entering this? Um, actually, uh, I was kind of not really sure how to interact because all the people and also my party um, are like really long in politics. So I really had to prove myself and all the others that I can do it because I have good ideas and I have new energy and um, yeah, can help with my new ideas. About your uh, energy, I'm very sure. Tell me <laughs> some of the, your new ideas, for example. Um, for example, maybe um, we already have an university um, in Krefeld. Um, but maybe foster it and maybe um, approve or, or maybe um, yeah, new subjects, uh, new studies, um, because we are also having like a lot of um, f um, textiles uh, because of our history. And so we can foster it again to make it strong again. And um, yeah, because we have a good old history, it is good to, to yeah, look back in the to the history and now uh, applying it in the future again. Uh, you are here in Brussels also because you are part of this project Young Elected Politicians. Tell me how does this project help you in your activity? Um, I think uh, the EU is standing <coughs> above our country in a way. So um, whatever happens here affects us in my city too. So this is the reason why I'm thinking that uh, it is important to see what the great institution Europe is doing for us um, 
who are living in the city and also with all the funding and, and things um, we can really and also like every every people um, every person can really um, have uh, get the benefits from the EU. Like most of the people don't really see the benefits, but also like almost every single uh, enterprise can um, um, really say, okay, I, I need help from you, EU. Please, can you help me in a way? Can you fund me? Or like also in the, in the more official way. But um, yeah, so many people don't know about the opportunity. Uh, there is definitely uh, more need for young voices uh, in the politics all over Europe. How would you convince the people from your generation to take part in this world? Yeah, that's also a big problem I'm facing right now when I'm talking to my friends because uh, so many people are not really interested. When I'm telling them what I do, um, they think, oh, that, that's impressive, maybe that's not for me. But I think, and, and, and maybe the problem is that they think they would not really um, um, make it to another point and achieve something, but it's wrong. So whenever you go voting, whenever you, you have new ideas and getting involved, you can do and um, you can make and see the developments yourself. So um, I think that is a wrong um, thing in their head that they are not heard, but everyone is heard. Pandemia COVID-19 a reprezentat cea mai mare provocare din viața de ales local pentru Suzana Croci, dar spune că are parte de provocări în fiecare zi și tot în fiecare zi are câte ceva de învățat. How did your story start as a young elected politician? So basically, uh, my story started as a young elected politician from uh, my election. I was elected in 2018. Uh, I was just 20 years old. When 22 years old, I was pretty young, as you can tell. Uh, but at the same time, I really wanted to bring on the change in my community, in my area, in my municipality. And therefore, when this opportunity came out, like I saw the call for young elected politician, I said, all right. This is what, this is what is for me. So I sent out the application. They selected me. However, they selected me last year. However, this was the year of just the online version of, uh, let's say, the Young Elected Politician program. So I didn't really, uh, in the beginning, have the possibility to exchange, uh, you know, contacts and uh, get really get in contact with the whole community of the Young Elected Politicians. This year is the is the best year till now because I have the opportunity to come here to meet uh, local councillors and regional councillors and uh, local representatives and other elected politicians for the, uh, f let's say, for the first time, uh, even though last year I participated to the meeting in Marseille mm -hmm. of this program. And, but this is really nice to be in these institutions, to represent my municipality, Venegono Superiore in the province of Arese and uh, yeah, really to be there, to be here and experience uh, uh, Europe. You said you entered politics because you wanted to, to make a change. Uh, what exactly does it mean? What does your municipality uh, need, like changing things? Uh, I can tell you about change because I, when I started, I was 20 years old and my mayor at the time was 80. So we had six years difference. And this is a, can be a bit, um, I don't know what to say, weird at first glance. But uh, then if you think about that, you actually understand that in, uh, in um, an administration, a public administration, you have to have both experience and you have to know how to deal with certain matters in a good way, and, but also the ability to experience, to discover and to, to change things. And I think that in this way, having the experience from my mayor, my pretty old mayor, but uh, is very good still. <laughs> and uh, youngsters in the, in, the, in the administration, I think, really uh, made the difference yeah, in how 
we, we, we handle things. Nevertheless, uh, which was um, the biggest challenge for you as the young elected politician back home? Because uh, I suppose that most of your colleagues are older than you. How, how do they uh, <laughs> see you? So probably the, mo the biggest challenge that I overcame was COVID. Because uh, I live in an area of Italy which uh, it was one of the most... Uh, impacted by the first wave of COVID, of COVID-19. So for us, it was very difficult uh, in terms of really dealing with the people that were affected and how to uh, we could handle and how we could help them in their home, uh, in, you, you know, supporting them with food, with medicines, with uh, um, anything that could help them. And for me, it was really a difficult time. However, thanks to a lot of association, also the civil protection uh, corps, uh, and also thanks to a lot of voluntary um, volunteers, we could uh, handle very good the situation. And, uh, and COVID, in the end, uh, uh, really didn't take advantage on what is uh, the structure of our city hall and our administration. How is the relation with, with your colleagues, with your team? Because, as I said, some of them probably are older uh, than you. How, how do you manage to um, get your ideas uh, from, from your mind to paper, for example? <laughs> All right. Actually, I have... Um, so, in, Italian, in an Italian municipality, you have three roles. The first one is the mayor. Then you have uh, the local councillors. And then you have the local councillors in charge of something. So it's a uh, uh, mayor, local councillor in charge of something, and local councillor. I am the local councillor in charge of the budget of the whole municipality of, uh, of more than 4 million euros per year. So I can tell you, uh, at the beginning, it wasn't that easy because I have to study a lot, really a lot, everything, all the documents, I had to study the law, I had to study a lot of things in order really to be heard. But in the end, I can tell you that this experience were, was 100% formative. And I can tell you that I would do it 200 times more. <laughs> How would you convince uh, some other young people to enter politics and to really make a difference for their generation? What would you tell them? Uh, I can tell. I, I would tell them to take on the challenge, because if you don't do it, then who else is gonna do it? Anton Diev și a început cariera politică acum vreo 15 ani, când s-a gândit să își canalizeze energia către domeniul acesta, unde e atâta nevoie de suflu nou. It's uh, for me like a uh, good experience. It was for me about 15 years ago, because we were, we were young. My first election it was uh, 2009, uh, when I uh, became uh, last uh, uh, last uh, the, 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 the deputy of the, my municipality. For me, it uh, was a very good opportunity because my, my, all, my, all my life was very active. Because before that, I am participating in, in uh, some youth in action programs, Erasmus Plus program, and another one, youth exchange. I think so. Uh, some one guy from local municipality tell me, Anton, maybe do you want to try to participate in elections? I think in about the, some some days, I say, okay, why not? I think so, I'm a very energy, I'm a positive man, why not? It came, uh, it came that uh, I was selected the first time, 2009. What exactly do you do uh, in your municipality now? Uh, now I'm uh, into committee. Uh, the, the first, I'm a member of the Youth and Sport Committee. And I'm a head of the so Social Committee of Social Affairs. Which are the challenges? I, th I think so. The, a, a, lot, a lot of the challenge, and uh, now I, I see that in my hometown is a lot of young people. Uh, because now, we, if you, if you are see a lot of um, some, where we organize some decisions, uh, if we organize some events or some 
uh, things, we have uh, see a lot of young people. The young people involved now in uh, pro process in uh, government because we see in the local municipality, in our others uh, municipalities, others uh, uh, local. Uh, uh, schools, uh, so vaccination schools, kitchen garden, a lot of people, young people. For, for me, it's very good because uh, if if you have some uh, lo lo local people, uh, young people, they get one stay in local municipality. It means like uh, all the things that, that we do with my colleagues, it's true. Because uh, if, if 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 some if, if somebody not happening, they go back to Tallinn or to Tartu or to Helsinki, wherever. If if uh, people stay in my hometown, it's very good opportunity because uh, in uh, some uh, some few years we are changing our infrastructure for example we get a new swimming pool about 15 millions yes the best we have a lot of uh, youth centers we have a culture um, houses now we have a good uh, infrastructure that uh, this is uh, young people can stay and using all the our infrastructure uh, you have already a, a long story in the politics, uh, but I wonder how was it in the beginning? How were you seen by your older colleagues? Uh, how did you manage that uh, your word really counts? I think so, I think so. It is very hard to change because I think so. Uh, some uh, previous generations see that uh, it's very hard to, uh, to get uh, some place uh, because I think so. It's very hard to change some stereotypes. Uh, because, for for example, in our local municipality, before uh, when I was was for first time elected, we have a maybe a, um, average age. It's about uh, 50, 55. But yeah, but but now uh, in the last election we have uh, in previous year, I think so. It's about uh, it's about uh, 35 or 14. It means like a lot of people uh, came, young people came to local municipality. I think so. The, the firstly, they think that no, okay, it's uh, have have some one young person. What uh, uh, he or she. Uh, uh, with us, but it's uh, sometimes each of the years I getting some experience, and now at the moment they also accept uh, my opinion. It's if if sometimes happening, accept it. I think I think so. It's uh, very good for me. You're also in Brussels because you're part of this young elected politician problem, and I wonder how does this program help you? I think so. For my side, uh, first first of all, it's uh, experience. Uh, because uh, there we are a lot of people who come uh, from 27 European Union countries and here we can uh, share our experience, get some information, get some project and apply in uh, our local municipalities. Also share our experience because we have a different countries, small, big countries and uh, I think so the one idea we are all Europe. I think so. We have a, the same problems. We have a, the same experience. But if if we, if we are together, we are can be strong. But exactly in this time, a younger voice is always needed, and we need more young uh, people involved in politics. How would you convince more people from your country, from from your municipality, to to get into politics? I, I, I think so. I think so. It's uh, it, it can be like this because if some young people see that what uh, happening, some some change in local municipality. I don't know. Uh, we are rebuilding a new buildings. Have a maybe new youth center. If you have some new shops or whatever. If you have new company, uh, companies have a good job, and, and if if if, if the young people see that this is uh, 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 th 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 this is guys or some uh, another uh, uh, guys uh, do something, I think so it's better uh, to see. I think so when 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 we do, uh, they can see, and after that they make some uh, decisions stay or be involved. Also we, also we sometimes organize some um, events uh, we are discussing to, to press what we should do because we have uh, some programs uh, which we which should do in this year agenda and then some next years and uh, we have, a, uh, we have a, s a lot of social uh, media have some groups when we put in some information about that about that and I think so some young people see and read the, these things. Yes, and after they can be also involved. And sometimes we are organize some events where we can invite some young leaders. Yes, and we speak, we spoke and get some feedback from them because sometimes a small thing, it can be changed a big thing.